Hello everyone, welcome to our business proposal presentation. The product for our proposal is banana chips. Uh, we are from group B2. This presentation is for subject EPF 4001, Production and Operation Management. Before we start, let me introduce our members. So the first member is uh, Siti Hajar Binti Azman and her metric number is 193250. For our next member, uh, which is uh, Farhana Ilya Fatimi binti Mama Isri. Uh, metric number is 193503. The next member is uh, Adiba Zahia binti Azhar. Her metric number is 192335. The fourth member, which is me myself, uh, my, my, my name is Nur Zulaika Atika binti Zakaria and my metric number is 192082. For our last member, which is Ojia Kian, her metric number is 194529. Now we are going to start. So, why our group chooses banana chips? Well, one of the factor is because banana chips is commonly eaten by locals and also uh, outsiders, which uh, is a really good snack. And we can get continuous supply of raw material, which is the banana itself, because banana grows throughout the year, which, which means it bears fruit throughout the year. And the total production of banana annually is 350,000 metric tons. We have a really high demand for these banana chips instead uh, locally and also abroad which is uh, specifically in China. Then uh, we have a simple process yet high yields high profit. As banana chips is consumed around the country, well our targeted customers varies from each other. First we can uh, supply our banana chips in retail, supermarket, wholesale, online platforms and also night and day market. Now, we will take a look at project location. The project is decided to be at Kampung Pisang Batu Gajah Perak where the factory is located 20 km from the applicant house which is in Ipoh Perak. The area of the factory is 0.2 hectares and also we get the supply of raw bananas from local supplier which is pembekal buah-buahan rambi sejen berhad and also batu gajah fruit supplier sejen berhad which are in radius 5 km from our factory. This place is very convenient and suitable for our business operation because it includes water supply, road suite, telecommunication system, toilet, parking lots and also electricity. In the aspect of technical, the semi-automated system is applied in the production of uh, banana chips. So for information in semi-automated process, there's a uh, part of the task is automated and part of the task is involved the uh, human operations. There are some of benefits brought by the applications of semi-automated machine in the processing line of banana chips. First of all, the applications of this system is considerably suitable, especially for the first startup company or small and medium enterprise like us, where the workforce can be reduced to half but still the production efficiency is quite competitive which much lower cost as compared to the fully automated system. And for the full automation system, there is high capital expenditure required to invest which can cost millions on them. Uh, and other than that, with the semi-automation manufacturing, it brings the convenience for the operators as well as it composed of melted cells and made the control on the processing of banana chips more easier. Also, it provides the chances for continuous improvement since only part of the process is automated and particular aspects of the process can easily be changed or enhanced to fully optimize the banana chip productions in the future. There are some other special features in the banana chips like which are specially uh, engineer frame control, continuous filtration system, rapid oil turnover and so forth to assure fresh net products are produced with a longer shelf life uh, more healthier and tastier. For the marketing aspect, the price is RM40 per kilogram for our banana chips. 
So where will it be sold? Well, it is intended to be sold at retailers, directly to consumer, e-commerce platform, local grocery stores and also night and morning market. However, we also have market target in upcoming years where we want to have the idea of having own dropship stockist agents and also we want to market our product at large supermarket. Not only that, we also have additional services for our marketing where we will support the delivery of the product for people ordering more than 40 kilograms of our banana chips where it will be transported using our factory van. Also, we will be available for delivery for 20 kilometers radius from our factory for those ordering at least 10 kilograms of banana chips. For our product that need to be post, we will use uh, a lot of career uh, according to the performance of the career in our customer area. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Farhana Ilya Fatima Mat Yusri. I will be presenting on the costing of banana chips. Okay, so from the table shown here, our company has decided to make a production of 50 kg of banana chips per day. With that, an amount of 1,500 kg of banana chips uh, will be produced per month with a batch production of 13.45 kg uh, kilogram of banana chips produced per year. And the selling price uh, for these banana chips follows the current standard market price which is around 25 ringgit per kg of banana chips. Hence, the cash flow in for this company will be a uh, revenue of 484 484.2 k uh, ringgit per year. Uh, our cash flow out will be the capital and operating cost for the production of these banana chips, which includes the capital cost, equipment, ISBL, OSPL, home office cost, emergency cost, and working capital cost. Whilst the operating cost includes the employees, salary, building maintenance, machine maintenance, will the rental, water, and electricity, waste disposal cost, miscellaneous cost and material cost. With that, we obtain a CCOP cash cost of production of an amount 217.859k ringgit uh, per year. From this amount, uh, we are applying two types of loan, which are uh, a loan from Tukun with an amount of RM 100,000k and another one from my SME lady with the same amount RM 100,000 uh, RM 100,000 by SME Bank Berhad uh, while the rest of the amount from this CCOP uh, will be will be afforded by our current saving by our our own current saving account okay from this production we obtain a gross margin of 275.59k ringgit per year the gross profit is 118.390 and the tax that our company will have to pay is 7 8.48 k ringgit per year that makes the net profit um, the gross profit subtracted with the tax that we will have to pay uh, will be 89.976 k ringgit per year the rate the rate of the return of investment uh, for this company is 53 percent which we believe is in a good state with a normal payback time of 1.88 years so that is for the costing of this company Okay, as you can see in the slide, these are the important documents that our company provided to prove that we are competent enough to manage the company Rasa Sendian Berhad where we already uh, participate in program that helped by Kementerian Pembangunan Usahawan dan Koperasi with topic Agropreneur Muda Pisang. <coughs> Besides, uh, the company Rasa Sendian Berhad, ingredients used for producing crepe pisang, banana chips, already certified halal by Chakim or authorized approved by Chakim. And there's also a permission letter by the owner of the land to permit uh, the use of their land as our factory place. Factory place. In the conclusion, uh, we can conclude that the company we place at comp Kampu Pisang, where it is near the raw material place as mentioned by Adibah before. Uh, the product revenue is RM28020.80 per month. Sorry, 
83 ringgit per month. Uh, the product will be marketed at local grocery store retailers. Uh, also, we will have the small kedai runche in rural areas. And lastly, the company will be helped in terms of money to support our company is by Maybank, uh, by loan and Ministry of Entrepreneur and Cooperative Development, but also by loan, the coin and my SME lady, sorry, <laughs> my SME lady. So that's all from us, uh, our group for producing banana chips.